Here's your WNEM TV 5 news update. Good morning, I'm Blake Keller. Let's take a look at the top stories we're following. Genesee County Board of Commissioners Finance Committee have a meeting today to discuss proposed 911 surcharges and decide whether to send it to the board for consideration. Flushing's mayor says if the issue doesn't make the August ballot, that 911 center could run out of money by 2026. The meeting's at 9 in the county administration building. Invoices for the toll to Liberty Bridge in Bay City have been sent to mailboxes, even people who have an account in transponders. A Midland man says he got an invoice for $16.50 after the bridge's license plate reader took a zero in his license plate as the letter O. He says he was on the phone for more than an hour trying to get it fixed. The GM of Bay City Bridge Partner says any similar invoice problems are best handled in person at its downtown suite on Center Avenue. Saginaw County Animal Care and Control over capacity. It was built to handle only 78 dogs, but it's close to housing 130. The Gotchville Township Shelter must now turn away strays and unwanted animals. Staff needs your help. They're asking to donate, foster, or adopt. They're open 8 to 5 Monday through Friday. We have First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondro here. We got a First Alert Weather Day. Uh, yeah, Blake, for this Wednesday, we have a First Alert Weather Day, particularly for the afternoon. That's the uh, time frame of main concern for us. 2 to 7 o'clock, we're expecting a line of strong to severe thunderstorms to move through. It does bring all threats of severe weather for today, so stronger wind gusts, some large hail, but also an isolated threat of a tornado. So that is definitely something that's there and does need to be monitored as we go into the afternoon uh, for today. Out of all of these threats, though, we have the greatest chance of seeing the stronger wind winds up to about 60 miles per hour with those wind gusts. Just make sure that you do have any loose outdoor items secure as we could see some wind damage out of those storms as they move through. Any rain showers we have this morning coming to an end at around 8 to 9 o'clock. Then it's at 2 o'clock where we see that line of storms forming with the cold front starting to move into mid-Michigan by 4 o'clock directly over the middle of mid-Michigan, pretty much right over I-75. Then moving out of the thumb at the end of the 6 o'clock hour going into the 7 o'clock hour. And behind that, then we're pretty quiet and dry as we go into the upcoming evening and overnight. For today, over your severe weather readiness plan, have multiple ways to receive weather alerts and make sure you have your devices charged as we go into the afternoon too. If any watches or warnings are issued and you had the first alert weather app, uh, those alerts will actually come right to your phone, directly to your phone as a push alert. Now going into the end of the week, Thursday night into Friday, just some rain showers moving through there. But relatively quiet. Other than that though, especially into the weekend, a dry weekend, just cooler. Highs only in the lower to middle 50s. There's a chance of frost Saturday night and Sunday night too. So that's also something we're watching for the upcoming weekend. But in the meantime, today, Make sure you're staying weather aware during the afternoon. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.